Okay, and here we are for Showdown, and we are going to kick things off with probably a terrible match, um, just with the sole aim to put Rick Steiner over. He's really not over at the moment, and I want to try and get him back in the mix a little bit, even for a TV title. Um, so he's going to basically beat up Jim Duggan for a few minutes and beat him up even more afterwards. Because Duggan's retiring at the end of the month anyway, so he's a jobber now. He's going to lose every match uh, between now and the end of the month. Um, all the angles and interviews are going to be guys that um, are feuding, um, which will lead up to a big climax at Starcade. So Chris Canyon is going to be fighting Big Vito. Uh, this is to hype up the US title match tonight between Lance Storm and Goldberg, which Lance Storm's going to win. Uh, to retain his title, uh, Scott Steiner and Hennig are going to be held apart from a brawl. Shane Douglas laying into Lance Storm. He's, you know, he Lance Storm won the US title in a four way. Shane Douglas wasn't involved. He's not involved tonight and he's getting really peed off. And Jeff Jarrett, of course, really hotting up his feud with Hulk Hogan for the world title. So the matches um, we've got Medeja, a new women's champion, in a four way. Uh, we've got, I'm going to try out um, Juventus Guerrera and Yushin Liger uh, together as a team as well to see how they get on. Uh, they're going to beat the filthy animals. For Wall is going to beat Sting due to uh, a bit of help from Sean Stasiak, who's feuding with Sting. These two have had a good match before and Sting has uh, requested to fight for Wall previously as well. So um, not a bad match up there. No hardcore title on the line though even though Walls for hardcore champ. And Nash and Sid over at Jin Draken O'Hare. If it's decent, I'm, I'll think of putting Nash and Sid in for four-way tag match at Starcade, um, as they've not really got much else going on. And of course, Lance Stone Goldberg. We don't want him to beat Goldberg cleanly uh, and take away from Goldberg, because he is still a star. We just need to get him back up um, to be more over with fans, and maybe change of gimmick. Um, and of course, Shane Douglas is going to get involved with that. So let's kick off the show. And as we expected, um, a pretty terrible opener. And I don't even know if I'm going to use Jim Duggan again, because even to use him to put other guys over is not working. Um, Canyon and Big Vito, an odd matchup, but uh, they did have a really good match, um, either on Nitro or Thunder. Uh, surprisingly very good for a women's match um, Tori Wilson losing her women's title there in that one Lance Storm Goldberg uh, no one lost any overness from that so that's positive and uh, a good match there from Juventus Guerrera and Yushin Liger and I know I've just put Juventus Guerrera in a tag team with Chavo Guerrero Um but I do like the look of this team as well, Juventud and Yushin. Because he's just in popular demand at the moment, uh, Juventud Guerrero. Uh, Steinl and Hennig, that didn't go down well for them as they both lost some openness. Uh, overall, the segment was decent. So uh, they trade insults inside the ring. Wrestlers come running out and hold them apart so they can't go at it. I thought that I'd do better than that, to be honest. Wall and Sting, good, solid match. Can only do Sting good. Shane Douglas, always cuts a good promo. And that did surprisingly very well, Nash and Sid. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'll make them into an official tag team. Um, I could do. I mean, Nash, he's he's been in tag teams with DDP, Buff Bagwell so far, and they've not really worked out. Form of DDP was better, um, but here we've got Nash and Sid, so I think they can be involved in the uh, match for the tag titles, which also includes Road Warriors because they're the champs. So um, that's they've got a bit of history there, of course, with uh, Lex Luger and uh, Buff Bagwell, who were in their stable feuding with the uh, Road Warriors. Jeff Jarrett backstage, that went well. And for main event, not bad. I was debating whether to make the match between Storm and Douglas for the US title a freeway with Goldberg, but I think it's just going to hurt the match rating. I don't think there's 
much need for it. It does seem a shame to leave Goldberg off the card, though, but it, it's a possibility. Um, I'll see at the time. Um, considering both guys were sluggish and they're both very unhappy, it wasn't a bad match. And very respectable 69%. With obviously for opener by far the worst segment here. And our male, that is our highest ever rating for showdown, I'm pretty sure. So it did do well. I'm pleased with that. Is there anything our writing staff want to say? No, not really. Uh, there's a lot of things here with contracts coming to an end. I'm going to have to sort all that out before the end of the month. Um, is there any point looking at unhappy workers anymore? I do keep tabs on it, but, you know, um, some of these guys are just never going to be happy, are they? And already 17th of December, we're only, f we're exactly two weeks away from Starcade. Just under, actually. 1.24 heat. I think that's pretty uh, good. And we've got all these feuds hotting up, of course. I mean, that one, my cause and Sid Vicious. I wish I could just end it off camera, but it wouldn't look good on either guy. So Jarrett Hogan, two all, that's uh, looking pretty good. Hennig Steiner, Hennig's got the lead there. S Douglas and Storm, Douglas has a uh, slight advantage. Uh, Noble and Rowe didn't appear on showdown. Stasiak and Sting, 3-1 to Stasiak. And uh, Canyon and Vito 2-0 to uh, Chris Canyon. So that pretty much sums things up. There's not really any point looking at the scouting stuff, is there? Because, yeah, we know Rock's unemployed, but he's touring, so we won't accept anything. Uh, Kurt Angle's contract is coming to an end. Well, let's just have a... Um, Wow, oh, where is it? Other promotions. Let's put Kurt Angle on our shortlist so that if any openings come up, we'll grab him because if we can get Kurt Angle, uh, that would be a fantastic um, addition. I think that's a much um, thinner uh, roster than what we have here in WCW. Kurt Angle. Let's shortlist for worker. But when do we know if he's going to become available? Doesn't say how long on any of these guys' contracts, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, he's only 32 as well, so that's pretty good. Okay, cool. That's going to uh, conclude this episode. And uh, see you next time for Monday Nitro. We had a good rating last week. Let's hope it continues this week and uh, I'll put on, hopefully, what will be a good show.